Hi everybody, welcome to the Coffee Cast, where today I am joined by the magnificently belted Eric. Um, now, this is the thing, is like, because you're sitting down, I'm going to have to ask you to stand up, because I've never had anybody from the Wailuku Coffee Company on camera with their own accessories. Awesome. So, what do you have? So this is a belt from a popular Japanese series called Kamen Rider. It's kind Kamen? of like um, Kaido. Oh my god, yes. Yes. So you're a huge fan. Huge fan. And does this <laughs> bestow any special culinary powers? Um, so actually these bottles together create an experiment. So kind of like combination of same with making food. Oh, yeah. oh I see. So Very you take your geekery <laughs> yep. and apply it to your cookery. Yes. And I, we get this beautiful tuna milk. Yeah. Now, this is just it. I, so I took a picture of it, and I said, oh, it's made with savory ingredients, but th this is beyond the normal tuna milk. Right? Mel. Yes. I mean, there's tuna milk. Very and fancy. And then there's, like, this is Lady in the Lake rising yes. to hand you Excalibur the tuna milk. Yes. <laughs> so what all, all, what, what's all in that? So in here, you've got just a mixture, like, it's not your average tuna milk mixture, but you've got tuna, you've got garlic powder, you've got a lot of basil, you've got um, onion powder, provolone, tomatoes, on a brioche bun. Nice. It's a really buttery bun. It's really good. I know. It looks very, like super shiny. Very recommended. <laughs> One of my favorites. Well, I'm going to ask you a question because this is something that always bothers me. Yes. Why the pickle? Why the pickle? This is a very good question. A lot of people put pickles. Yeah. Why? Um, so apparently, it just it re it works very well with um, sandwiches for some reason. I'm not exactly sure. I guess because it's I don't know actually. Maybe the acid. <laughs> yeah. Breaks up the cheese. Yeah, I guess because it's two kind of separate flavor profiles, so it kind of works for some reason. I'm not too sure on that one either. So part of what you do is witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So shouldn't you have more of a Harry Potter feel? Than a... <laughs> yeah, like witch's brew and all that kind of stuff. Right. You ever just go back there and pick up one of the wooden spoons and go, <laughs> Expressio, right? you know, or something. <laughs> something coffee related. Seriously. You should try that one day. I should. That would be really funny. I'm betting Dulcie would like it. She would. <laughs> she would be like, oh, very interesting. <laughs> Sammy might be a little confused. Yeah, for sure. He, he might wonder why the spell's not working. <laughs> yeah, he, he would. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, because I've, I've made fun of Sam on the show as being the most fashionable cook. He is very fashionable. But he doesn't come with his own utility belt. Yeah. <laughs> You're very right. So, oh, there oh. goes one of my boss. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, always reach from the side like a true lady. Yes. Um, the thing <laughs> is, it's like... You're a part of this weird mix of people here. I am. And I dare say that I don't think you're the weirdest I've met so far, but I would like to put it to a vote. Oh, okay. So who do you think, besides, besides you know, Dulcie's chaos laughter, because <laughs> that is a thing that is kind of unnerving when you hear it after a while. I didn't realize that it would be... I don't think I've ever realized so bad. <laughs> I need to listen in, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But which one would you say is the weirdest character that you get to work with? Weirdest character? It's a good question. Well, I do have a really good friend here, uh, Alec. He was actually the number one barista in Maui. Yeah, I saw yes. that. <laughs> we're, we're really alike, so it's really nice. Huh. So to get along. <laughs> you were just Very like, interesting. if it was a cook award, it would have been me, but it was yeah. barista, so. <laughs> if it was a cook award, I think it yeah. Either me or Sam. Probably Sam. He's very good. <laughs> yeah. He's amazing. Just incredibly shy. Right. Like, I, I actually approached him one day about being on camera. I think he ran. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would. It's just, you have to force him. If force you force him, him on there, he, he would get on. So it's like a Liam Neeson thing with yeah. him, huh? You gotta, like, kidnap his family or something. Yeah. <laughs> then all of a sudden, he's like, I have a very particular set of speaking skills <laughs> that I'm willing to use to get my family back. Yes. It's very entertaining. It's really it's really a fun and we get our work done all of it, so it's really good. No, you ever made something where you're just like so proud of it that you just take it around and make everybody try it? Oh, 
I've actually made a few things. Um, mostly for just the cafe wise, I've made like a like a pita kind of pizza. I was very proud of that. I was like, you guys all have to try this. That is kind of an awesome idea. Right? It's like a pizza, but a pita, but yeah. it's this small. P pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Has that been the weirdest thing you made so far? Uh, maybe for food-wise. I do make a lot of interesting drinks. Oh, man. Well, I'm, I gotta say, I'm very interested in trying this. Yeah, for sure. And uh, this is like kind of the best part of the, the cast. Oh, is nice. We get to eat the food. Still confused about the pickle. Yeah, <laughs> same. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely enlightened at the fact that the kitchen may, in fact, be staffed by people that are a little crazy. <laughs> you could say that. Uh, and on that scale, I, I, I don't want to say that you're at the top of the list, but you're definitely a couple of ticks off the bottom. But is, is there anything, like, before we get off here, is there anything that you would say is, like, your favorite part of the menu? Favorite part of the menu. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually my favorite thing. I actually get tuna melts almost every day. Really? Yeah, almost every day. Every day? I love tuna. Uh, <laughs> Something I never knew. I, I grew up eating fish for, like my whole life, so this is the closest I can get now that I don't go to the ocean that much. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. So you're like, I'm in the, I'm in the uh, kitchen a lot. So. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, guys, we're going to say goodbye from the uh, Wailuku Coffee Company and uh, try some of this savory tuna melt. Right. Eric, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, for sure. Until right. next week, see you. Okay, no worries, no worries.